Well, hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Random Links. Today we're taking a look at this wood chip pile. You can see the column of steam rising up there. Here's another better shot of it. So why are we looking at this today? Uh, well, this is just one of those things where, um, you know, a lot of us have seen the steaming piles of wood chips at uh, like paper mills or sawmills or, you know, places where there's uh, wood chips being generated. Now, what's peculiar about these wood chips um, is that this is uh, from log and slash. So in other words, it's called hog fuel. And the reason this is steaming is because it's fermenting. Um, may, may, maybe some of you have heard about uh, you know how mill fires start sometimes through wood uh, wood chip piles, where uh, the, fer the heat from the fermentation gets so great that they uh, spontaneously ignite. Now, to show you that this isn't just some malarkey, you know, here you can see the the column of steam. Now, why is it steaming and why is it fermenting? Um, the plants. When they go through photosynthesis, they generate uh, a, a simple sugar uh, in the process where they take a water molecule, um, take a carbon dioxide molecule from the air, split that, and then reform that uh, with the hydrogen in the uh, water that they take up and form a, a simple sugar. And so, as most of us know, sugar is, a, is a, the basic food for yeast. Now, yeast is, you know, ubiquitous it's in the air. Yeast spores are everywhere. And so, as soon as this kind of uh, material gets shredded, um, you're gonna get uh, fermentation going on because the, the spores from wild yeast have settled onto this. And as uh, part of the, uh, well, two of the products that uh, that are byproducts of, of fermentation are heat and uh, carbon dioxide, and that's what you're seeing coming rising up here is a little bit of heat in the form of some steam, and of course a little bit of carbon dioxide. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab a handful of this stuff here and show you that uh, what this is. As you can see here, there's lots of small sticks and fine material in here, um, and it's fairly wet. Um, the sap wood of a plant contains, uh, that's where all the, of course, the, uh, the water rises up, in, up to the crown, and so you're going to get um, quite a bit of moisture in, in this kind of material, and uh, as, of course, heat generates you know, causes evaporation, so that's why you're seeing the column of steam. So, anyway, um, I realize that most of you won't have a chip pile big enough to self-ignite. Uh, they usually have to be, you know, pretty good size hill, uh, several thousand cubic yards in order to, to get that kind of, you know, and several, almost 100 feet deep in order to get uh, any kind of combustion going, so there's nothing really to worry about. But this is just the science behind the uh, the process here. Yeah, your compost pile does the same thing. Um, in case you're wondering, you know, if you ever seen your compost piling, you know, your compost pile steaming on a on a cool morning. Now, as temperature drops, of course, the process of fermentation will slow down. You know, today's just one of those days where we got a light frost and uh, low humidity, so then the uh, the steam rising up really shows up and uh, kind of highlights, you know, the whole process a little bit better. Um, so anyway, I thought uh, that might be a, a little interesting sideline for some of you folks who've seen this kind of thing and uh, stay, for, to stay tuned for some more of this kind of uh, video. There are going to be, you know, just random little tidbits as, uh, as things kind of creep along with this, uh, with this channel. So hope you enjoyed uh, what you saw today. And uh, if there's any questions or suggestions for other material, um, or processes that you'd like to see or have better explained, by all means leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, stay tuned for more. Mm -hmm.